Fresh from Arizona, Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema is apparently frustrating some folks with her bipartisan stance on a lot of issues, like not endorsing impeachment hearings and supporting the appointment of Attorney General William Barr. Now, this seems to be a, a surprise to people. I guess they forgot that, you know, <laughs> most uh, Democrats and Republicans, you know, used to have uh, duality because they were trying to do stuff that was right for their state or, and or the country. Mm -hmm. So why is this so shocking to people now? Megan? Anybody. <laughs> I mean, look, I love her, and um, I think she's been very surprising for Arizona because she ran and her record was very, very left, and she's sort of come out as this true moderate in the mm -hmm. spirit, I think, of so many Arizona politicians before her. Um, she has an approval rating in some places as high as 62%, which in Arizona is unbelievable given that right. she's a Democrat. You also have Mark Kelly running, mm -hmm. who came on the show, who's yeah. also a very moderate right. Democrat. Um, I just want to show a video of her clapping at Trump's State of the Union this year. And she's clapping, and then Senator Jackie Rosen appears to tell her, watch your back. Like trying to intimidate her because she's not falling in party line. She was line. clapping too, and that was the moment. She was clapping. The one, one next. No, it, it, it's a moment. Just trust me on this. She was mm -hmm. giving her crap, and so I just think that it. She is a great um, example of why centrism, oh. in your opinion, yeah. is alive and well. Well, well let's I face it. Her... She lives in a red. She works. She's in a red state. No, or... actually, no. It's Arizona purple. is turning no, a little bit, purple. but she voted for Trump's. Ideas 20% of the time. Yeah, but you know, I. So if her... she's an independent, why not be an I... indi on the independent ticket? Read, why... read the piece. I Same find... as Manchin, who is in West Virginia, another red mm -hmm. state. Well, you can compare that to someone like Romney, who has made his whole. Uh mission as senator to attack the president his good for him. Has gone. no but his I, I, I down salute because senator romney no, i think he's okay. great the point Honestly, is, i think she's i think she's refreshingly authentic and i think she's not uh using every day to get on a, a cable show or to have a viral uh, Tweet she she rarely goes base. to party lunches. She hasn't watched the 2020 debate. She says, I'm not missing anything. I prefer happiness. And, and I just think in this era and this time, she is extremely <coughs> refreshing. I didn't, I didn't know enough about, I mean, I knew about her, but I assumed she would be an extreme leftist. And she's a wonderful centrist. I'm very proud to have her as my senator. She okay. actually, according to 538, she votes with Trump 53% of the oh, time. Oh, that's not my information. 53%. Yeah. Here's the crazy oh, thing that she, I'm going to say. She wants to do. In our, in our our uh, party, yeah. we have someone who isn't a Democrat who is running under and being uh, subsidized by. Bernie's not a Democrat. Oh, Bernie. You know, he's a, he's socialist. a socialist. So in this party, seemingly, crazy as it sounds, we seem to have space for a There's whole a lot of different folks yeah. who think differently. Yeah. There's a wide I remember umbrella. when I call me crazy when I was a little girl. I, I sort of kind of remember stuff like yeah, that, but I don't know.